Okay, today we're going to make a, a drawing in the style of Ramira Bertel. I'm going to make a cat. So I'm going to start off with that U shape. I'm going to draw triangles for the ears. Um, the key is to keep it very simple and cartoonish. I want it to be sort of a, sim a collection of simple lines and shapes to make my image. Um, Ramiro Berto typically puts in those whimsical touches like a bow tie on an animal. I might draw a horizon line and I might make a nice flower like this. Now, the next step is going to be to basically break up the picture by adding lines and shapes. I might even decide to break it up with shapes that would naturally fit in there. So maybe I'm going to make shapes like rays for the sun that will break up the space around here that also will create a sense of movement across my picture. Or it might be somewhat more random. I try to get a few lines arcing different directions across the composition, but like maybe five to ten instead of five to ten thousand. My next step is going to be to color each of these shapes individually. A good strategy can be to start by outlining the shape that you're about to color. And then Ramiro Berto is known for those nice colorful patterns. So I'm going to make colorful patterns to fill in these shapes instead of filling them in solidly. I might have a couple that are solidly colored in but for the most part, I want to make them a little bit more interesting by having varied patterns go across my picture. When I get to the next shape, I'm going to outline this one. I find that I get good contrast if I have sort of a warm color than a cool, cool color. Warm color, cool color. Now with my blue shape, I had arced lines. So maybe with this one, I'm going to go in just a simple striped pattern, straight lines. Again, it's creating a little bit more contrast. So now I have a difference not only in the color, but also the type of line that's being used to create my pattern. I'm just going to go one shape at a time like this until I have colored in my whole picture. And now that I've got everything sort of colored in with these different patterns in each shape, I'm going to use a black marker to simply trace over all my pencil lines and outline every shape that I drew.